so Stephen, let me let me uh, let me kind of talk to you about some of the, the same question because obviously Deloitte has this platform around elevating the human experience, and I'd love for you to kind of just touch on that and, and maybe talk to a little bit about what Deloitte is specifically doing around uh, conversational artificial intelligence. Yeah, thanks, Daryl. Um, I guess to make, to make it practical for the audience, I think um, in the last ten years of helping clients elevate that human experience and what we say go beyond customer experience, really. I think AI has come to the forefront uh, really in only the last five to, to six years. And one of the papers we're coming out with tomorrow is around, I think probably about 37% of organizations have embraced AI uh, today. So that's, I know, a 270% growth, but at the same time, you know, an opportunity for growth further. But what you're seeing is organizations are really using AI in the core of their organization for um, automation and optimization and now only really getting into the customer space. And I think we've all seen, and as Danny mentioned, you know, 2016, the emergence of chatbots, et cetera. But when I talk to my clients, at least, what they really miss is whilst they're embracing that is really the emotional connection. And I think it was mentioned a few times, the unbiasedness of the, the interaction, the emotional connection through engaging rather than talking to your clients. So, so we're really seeing now an influx of that. I mean, to be honest, at Deloitte Digital, where we try you know, to help our clients with that journey, we're also embarking on that journey. So it's not something we've got all the answers to. But in the first implementations we've done, um, I think what you're seeing is taking small steps and uh, maybe in the sort of less transactional areas of the business, also from a compliance perspective and privacy perspective and getting getting uh, getting experience, learning as you go, iterating is really what we're seeing at clients. And I think We've just launched the first Dutch speaking digital human, which was a great uh, moment uh, really to help old people uh, during COVID. So we we worked hard when COVID hit to really to have a project that, that is an impact, not a commercial project for us, but really look at how we can help old people in homes that were locked down on making information more accessible and having a dialogue rather than searching on a website of a local government that was very difficult to read uh, just having that you know touch of a button conversation with a digital human and just the personal pleasure that you see sort of uh, doing user-centric design with older people just uh, puts a smile on your face and, and I think it's, it gives a, a, a real sort of platform for what is potential whether it's in branding as was just presented or when it comes into really the core of the transaction of the enterprise but maybe I can talk about that in a few minutes. Yeah, you know what, I, what I really liked about your comments was you talked about these companies needing to embrace artificial intelligence. And I think if you ask the question, even at the beginning of this year, how many people are interested in artificial intelligence, it's significant, but be able to walk that line and having partners like Deloitte to uh, really take um, end users and customers and, and help them understand what is going to be necessary as they kind of embrace and dive into this whole world of artificial intelligence. I, I, I'd liken it to the constructs of digital transformation about five, eight years ago, uh, where now it actually has some teeth into it. So awesome. Thank you for that. Okay. So Stephen, let me let me uh, pivot over to you because Deloitte has worked works with some of the most uh, amazing and important brands on the face of this earth. And we've heard time and time again that because of obviously everything we're going through with the epidemic, that roadmaps and technologies are getting pulled in to the point where um, even in the retail market, two years of digital transformation has taken place in two months. So can companies take advantage of this time and really create differentiation with their services? I, 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 I've spoken probably to about 30, 35 CXOs in virtual sessions over the last uh, few months. And I think it went from the future of the office discussion to agility in the supply chain and agility in the enterprise when it comes to the digital core. And now it's all about digital interaction. So it's, we've gone through the respond phase, we're going to the recover phase, and hopefully as we move forward into the back end of the year, we'll go into a thrive phase. And I think Every conversation is the same, that uh, we will not go back to how it was, whether it was in retail. And the role of digital in interaction is uh, you know, a, 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 an area that is going to accelerate or is accelerating. I think one retailer here in the Netherlands said, as you said, you know, they've accelerated a year's worth of transformation in three, three months because they had to. Um, so the, the point of you have to and do it in an emotional way that you embrace your MPS scores, your customer engagement, and then really it, it, it is a, it's a trigger to move beyond the chatbot that you've implemented and to get into the core of the enterprise on top of Salesforce, on top of any other enterprise system where 
digital humans are really then uh, coming to fray. So the technology is there, as uh, Lone just said, and I think the time is there. So I, I see an acceleration, and that's why we're so excited about it also as Deloitte Digital to help our clients on that journey. Um, all right, let's let's move on, and I, uh, I want to kind of go around the horn and just hear some of the thought process of where we think digital humans are going to be and where they we think they're going to be most impactful in our daily lives. We talk um, I look at three years. Um, I think what we're going to see is embracing around the marketing side first. I think we've heard a lot about that in the customer engagement piece. I'm also pretty excited about what this can do to augment the real human in the enterprise and really the transactional part of the business, whether that's triaging a patient into a hospital and then triaging them off to a real human and taking some of that weight load off, off the real human uh, jobs. I think that's where the big uh, ROI is going to be seen uh, and I'm most excited about. It. And I, I see the, the, the space as a whole evolving, obviously clouds being embraced. Uh, I think this will be uh, an added um, advocate of that transition and increasingly seeing digital humans embedded into enterprise software. I think that's going to be the next wave uh, in three years.